So here we have the Citroen C3 Picasso 1.6 HDI exclusive on a 13 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through a few controls on the inside. But from the outside you'll see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So you see as we approach the back of the car we've got reversing sensors, plenty of boot space along that 60-40 split folding rear seat and the boot space is increased by lifting up this shelf area and you can see even more space underneath that as well. Okay so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car now and then I'll hop in and run through some controls but now that we've done a full circle you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. As you can see, the seats are in lovely condition. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard as well, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so we're going to start on the dials for this car, which are in the centre of the dashboard. Uh, so you can see on the right-hand side, we've got a digital rev counter, a digital speedometer, and the total miles on this car are 19,416. Uh, the speedometer is particularly clever on this car because uh, the sunnier it gets, the brighter this gets. If you can see, it's actually see-through. So uh, if the sun is shining from the other direction, it'll only get even brighter rather than uh, it becoming hard to see as it would be in most cars. In the center there we have a trip computer uh, with the time and date and you can change the information that's displayed up there and reset it using the two buttons just over this side. We also have this cubby hole area just here uh, for extra storage. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side just behind here we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the right hand side you can see just through there we have stereo controls. The main stereo unit is over in the centre here, which we'll come to in just a second. I'm going to start off with the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature digitally on the passenger and driver side. You can adjust the fan speed in the middle just here. And as long as that button is pushed and that light is on, the air conditioning is on. Or you can hit that, which is also, and the car will take control of the fan speed itself, which you can hear it doing, in order that it maintains these two temperatures for you and you can just override that by readjusting the fan speed yourself. And then finally, you can select where you'd like the air to blow within the car from those buttons just there. You can turn off the parking sensors with this button. We've got deadlocks to lock the car door from the outside, hazard warning lights, and a little card holder just there. Uh, and then comes the main stereo unit. So this button will turn the stereo on and off, will adjust the volume up and down, as you can hear just there. Uh, you've got a CD player, FM, AM radio, and then that button there will give you access to either the CD player or auxiliary input, which this car has got. So you can plug a device in via auxiliary and USB as well. You then have a little storage tray underneath, the five speed manual gearbox. And then down the bottom here, we have a 12 volt charging socket. And underneath this cap, the auxiliary and USB input that I mentioned a moment ago. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call at Henlo Car Sales. We'd love to hear from you soon.